And hi there. Uh, I'm JC Bog Sculptor, and I'm doing a little spinning demo for the head and hands issue. Uh, this spinning demo comes from page 68. It is Rebecca Marsh's Marrowbone Hat yarns. So the Marrowbone Hat looks like this, which I have a really small head, so hats are always really big on me. But this one, which is a bulky single knit into a cabled yarn. So the article and the yarn focus on, on being bulky and warm, but wearing well. Um, and having enough stitch definition that you can make cables out of it and they show. This one is the same pattern, but in a plied yarn. So kind of a bulky two ply plied yarn. So we're gonna spin those both real quick. And um, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the single. Um, she uses Corydell, so we're gonna use Corydell. And she strips it out. Um, sometimes people find stripping their fibers out uh, makes it easier to make a bulky yarn. So if you find that to be true for you, go ahead and do it. Um, if you don't, don't. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it because she does. So uh, there's nothing wrong with doing this. There's, um, it doesn't really even affect the consistency of your yarn. Um, what more affects the consistency of your yarn is if you pre-draft it this way. Because when you pre-draft it, it's really difficult to get your preparation to stay consistent when you're pre-drafting it like this. But stripping it out, opening it up a little bit, no big deal. Um, since we're doing a bulky yarn, uh, we are going to put it on a big pulley, which you can see is up here. Lower this a little bit so that I have the space. Um, and I don't like a lot of uptake. I find a lot of uptake makes it difficult for me to spin the most consistent yarn that I can. So my uptake, I'll adjust it as I go, but it's just enough to pull in the weight of the yarn. Um, and maybe just a tiny bit more because with a bulky yarn, you don't want a lot of twist, which is what the big pulley's for. But also the quicker your wheel pulls in the yarn, uh, the less twist will gather before it pulls in. So I, you don't want it to hang out a long time, but you also don't want it to pull against you. So adjust as you will. Um, I got a handy new camera up here that should allow you to see the spinning a little better. So um, we're gonna go ahead and connect. Here we are spinning again, big pulley, not too much uptake, but enough that it pulls in. And how Rebecca spun this yarn is with a backwards draft. So instead of a forward draft here, where you leave your fiber hand still and you move your drafting hand forward, she's gonna leave her fiber, her drafting hand still, and move her fiber backwards. Um, and to keep it shorter than the drafting length, to keep it more consistent, uh, only she's only drafting back about a third of the staple length. So she's going here a third, moving back, letting it feed in. So this is your backwards draft and not too much twist. Notice that I'm even spinning pretty slow. Such a bulky yarn as this, um, you don't really want to put very much twist in it. If I pull it out and check my twist, um, I'm going to say that's, that's quite a lot of twist for this particular yarn, especially since she goes on to full it later. So let's go ahead and turn that uptake up just a little bit more. And we're going to move our hands a little faster, our feet a little slower. You can see how I'm doing that. Let's check that yarn now. Oh yeah, you can see that that is less, not super consistent, but less twist. That's probably about where we want it for this hat. Um, and then after we're done, we're going to full it, which is going to help it uh, maintain its shape, not wear as much. And because it's a single, it's still going to be a really round yarn, which is going to help show the, the definition of the cables. So this is our backwards draft. Notice that if I pull back too far, I'm going to get this thick and thin spot. So just a little distance. And again, if you don't like to strip your fiber, 
unstripe, but strip it. If you do like to strip it, go ahead and strip it. So that is our single, which results in this hat that you can see here, that it's nice and round. You can really see like the, the honeycomb on the stick, the honeycomb definition of these stitches. So this is our single. It's been slightly felted or fold, um, so it should wear really well, um, but it still has a nice elasticity to it, which is good because again, my head is very small. Okay, the next one we're gonna look at is this, which is same pattern, but applied yarn. So this is the hat uh, of the yarn that we are spinning now. <laughs> um, it's a two-ply, and since a two-ply naturally uh, stands up to abrasion more than a singles yarn, uh, Rebecca decided to spin it in a woolen manner, which is a naturally warmer yarn because it has uh, way more air in it. And it's really the air in a yarn that makes, that keeps us warm. So she used the same fiber, which is a Corydell uh, comb top. And comb top is not necessarily the easiest preparation to spin long draw. So if you have some, some like comfort with long draw, comb top is awesome. Um, give it a chance. If you're new to long draw, maybe start with a carded fiber. It does um, make it a little easier and a little more forgiving. So we're going to use the Corydale and we're going to spin a uh, long draw from comb top. And again, this yarn is plied and not fold. So good definition, really warm, a little more abrasive resistant than just a single. But again, that single we just did, it's going to be fold. So that provides a little more um, resistance to abrasion because those ends are like, are full, kind of flat. They're not poking out free anymore. And it's those ends poking out that makes little quills and, and gets more wear and tear. Uh, join and begin. Now with short forward, which is what we did before, there's no twist between your hands. So notice between this hand and this hand, the fibers are all untwisted. And as I pull forward, these fibers are staying aligned. And as I let twist into them, I'm smoothing them at the same time. So twist enters when the fibers are aligned and I smooth it down. Long draws a little different. I am going to actually release these hands. Twist is going to be between my hands. I'm not going to smooth it. So I'm going to pinch in one spot and pull back a little bit pinch and pull back until I kind of figure out the diameter I want. And there's, there's a kind of a, a sweet spot between the ratio of pinching and pulling back that you'll find that will create the diameter, the evenness and the twist amount that you want. And it's just a matter of playing around with that. So pinch, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. And let's give this a look and see how it, what it seems like. Um, that to me, since we're going to have this yarn be plied and we want that plied yarn to match the diameter because it's the same pattern as the singles yarn we just spun, um, I think this needs a little more twist. So you've got to find that sweet spot. I don't want it too bulky because we're going to ply it, but I want a little more twist than I had. So let's check this one. Don't look at that part. Let's look at this part. That's a little too much twist. So let's go somewhere in the middle, shall we? And again, comb top is not the easiest to spin long draw. So if you're new to long draw, uh, don't necessarily start with this. All right, let's check this out. A little bit farther and I've got a little thick spot here so I am going to kind of give this a little extra attention. Now let's check it. When I ply that I'm going to give it a little extra. It's going to be a little more like this which I think is nice. So pinch pull back, pinch pull back, pinch pull back, pinch pull back, pinch pull back. So I'm thinking if I wanted to get a little thicker, see how this has gotten kind of thin, that I need to leave my fingers unpinched a little bit longer, which allows the twist to run in to my fiber supply and grab a few more fibers. So that's how I'm going to get thicker. Not too thick though. That's a little thick again, extra attention. Little double drafting here, maybe triple. <laughs> pinch pull back, pinch pull back. Got 
some more twist run in because it's gotten a little thin. All right, this, finally, I feel like we're about where we want to be. And once you're about where you want to be, you can kind of regulate this and start going a little faster. And that is the spinet for Rebecca Marsh's Marrowbone Hats. Um, I'm sure she did the spinning a little bit smoother, a little bit more even than I did, but hopefully you got the idea of how you spin those two different yarns and why you'd spin them. Okay? JC Boggs Walkner signing off. <laughs> That's the sound I make for my cats. I'm not sure why I made it for you.